Hello everyone, I'm Jed, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make an equity dashboard for the company Meta using OpenBB. I like to start with the equity template because it gives you a great framework to build your own dashboard. And then once I change the ticker to Meta, everything should populate as such. And the overview tab is great because it gives you a, a lot of information, a lot of high up information on the company, like the description, the ticker, most recent news, and higher up views of revenues like per geography or per business line. It also gives you financial ratios so that you can see historically how the company's changed by fiscal year or quarter, etc. Then what I like to do is make my own financials tabs by breaking it up into three different ones like the income statement, cash uh, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. Once I have my income statement balance sheet and cash flow se segments, I like to add in the financial statements. And then it is super easy to make your graphs based on what metrics you want to look like just by selecting the line items and clicking graph. I'll show you right now. Here we can see I looked at revenue and cost revenue to give you a better sense of gross margin and uh, revenue forecast to see how we think the company will perform in the future. Um, but yeah, here is how I make some of the graphs for the balance sheet. I just showed some from the um, income statement. On the balance sheet, it's also important to include valuation multiples. Yeah, right here I would like to include also uh, total debt and net debt, but I won't be able to do that through importing the graph. Um, let's see with the cash flow statement. And then, yeah, in the cash flow statement, I also like to look at changes of, let's say, free cash flow. So we import a graph like this. And then you can also show changes in free cash flow by, um, based on where it comes from, whether that be operating cash flows, investing cash flows, or financing cash flows. But another thing that's really useful using OpenDB is its accessibility to look at um, comparable companies in a much more concise way. Um, here's the comparison analysis dashboard and it's super helpful for generating visuals that allow you to see how the company does compared to its competitors. And it's super easy to sort through which companies you want to include. And once you have your companies in here, you can, it, it's very easy to sort of compare them based off of different um, performance indicators. 
or performance ratios. Start with a line graph and then change it over to a bar graph once it's in here. Um, um, but it makes it really easy to see comparisons of ratios by just deselecting and selecting again. It's really easy to see profitability across each company using the graphs. Like here I can make a graph that shows the differences in profitability for multiple um, operating profit or for different profitability ratios uh, for multiple companies all in one place. Even while I'm making these graphs, it's super easy to add in widgets that allow you to take notes. And then once you have the graphs that you wanted, you can put notes on alongside either or whichever one you want so that you can add in qualitative aspects as to why you might think And using Copilot, you can ask questions to get a better sense of why it's happening at a very high level. And just like other AI tools, you can ask for a shorter summary if you're just trying to get a basic overview of why. That you can then very easily put into the notes so that you can have an organized um, summary of the graphs and why, why they are the way they are. Another thing that Copilot is very useful for is when you want to take information from something like the earnings transcript and use it to find what drives the company's earnings. So here I'm going to put the earnings transcript in here. In addition to using the Copilot to take notes on the earnings transcripts, you can also use it to make tables that will help you do analysis of the financial statements.
And so you see here are just a couple of examples of different tables that I've made with the copilot that aren't super obvious just by looking at the financial statements. What I just showed you are a couple of examples, but even in the prompt section for Copilot, there are tons of different questions you can ask it that will help you make your decisions on where you think the company is going, is going forward. So you can see by really using Copilot to dig into things like the financial statement tabs with earnings transcripts, you can get a lot more information that is much more granular than just looking at the statements themselves. And it saves you time by not having to go through the earnings transcript yourself.